All right, so I'd like to call this uh, Parking Commission meeting to order pursuant to revised Missouri State Statute 82487. Um, Ms. Ali, can you please take the roll? We don't have Connie on here. Where'd Connie go? Let me go check on her. Okay. She was on. For the uh, sake of time, I'll uh, take the roll and take notes um, as we go through and get the vote. So let's see. All right, first we'll go with uh, Mr. Freeman. Present. Ms. Williams. Present. Alderman Tyus. Ms. Kenner, or I guess uh, Comptroller Green. Proxy for Comptroller Darling Green. Present. All right. And Treasure Lane present. All right. So the next order of business is approval of the December 20th, 2022 um, agenda or meeting minutes. So I will entertain a motion for the approval of those minutes. So moved. Second, Williams. Okay. So it's been properly moved by Ms. Kenner, properly seconded by Ms. Williams. I'll take the roll. Uh, Mr. Freeman. Aye. Ms. Williams. Aye. Alderman Tyus. Proxy Kenner. Aye. And myself, aye. All right, so the minutes are approved. Now we have some old business. So um, we have attendees just in case there are questions, but uh, we have finalized the parking permit agreement for the Regional Arts Commission. Um, as we all know, that that took some time, um, but we were able to sit down. So I sat down with uh, Ms. Cooksey and Mr. Uh, Mastin. So we sat down at the Regional Arts Commission. We were able to talk about uh, just all the factors surrounding the situation and come to an agreement. Um, that agreement uh, is for four spots instead of the six spots. And instead of 24-hour spots, seven days a week, it will go from um, 7.30 to 9.45, I believe, or 9.30. Um, I know it's in the uh, the agreement that was sent, but it'll go from about uh, yeah 7 a.m. to about 9.30 or 9.45 p.m., and that would be for four spots directly in front of that building. Um, we also got approval, and I can share my screen and bring that up because um, he is not able to attend, but approval from the alderman um, get up here per the uh, guidelines and statutes. So we were able to send, uh, again, 9.30 p. So we were able to send this to the alderman. Um, he said that he approved. I'm sure all commissioners are able to see that approval. That's about, um, see that approval. And then I can entertain any questions. And then I'll also entertain a motion to approve the contract as revised. So the only revisions that we're putting is the uh, number of spaces and the time. Yep, spaces and time. So from six 24 hour to four within those time parameters. Okay. So my, my last question is, and, and thank you for, for the uh, getting this additional information. Um, would it be a difference in cost now? Because the last agreement had a cost associated with six spots. And now that we're dropping to four, as well as a shorter period of time, would that be an addition, a change in the 
costs that they um, it, pay. It, it should be, um, but I, I will defer to Mr. Freeman for that answer. Yes, it will be a difference in cost. So we'll have to make an addendum to the original agreement. And then they can do, RAC can do one of two things. They can either ask for their money back or apply it to next year's cost. So, yeah. Well, motion to uh, approve the um, agreement with the revisions and the addendum in costs. Second. So it's been moved by Ms. Williams, seconded by Mr. Freeman. Ms. Ali, can you please take the roll? Commissioner Tyus? <clears throat> Commissioner Green? Aye. Commissioner Williams? Aye. Commissioner Freeman? Aye. Chairman Lane? Aye. Next order of business, new business, so a parking permit agreement with uh, KSDK. Um, I'll pass this one over to you, Shirley. Uh, Treasurer, we do have some um, uh, attendees uh, that okay. we would to like to for. admit to speak um, from KSDK, and that is Ms. Uh, Alicia Elsner okay. and Tim okay. Duffin. All right. I will bring them in. And Lenny, there's also a Nicole Belford. Is she with KSDK also? I believe she's with RAC. So, okay. Yeah. So Shirley, would you like us to say something or what? how do we do this? So this is our first meeting, sorry. Yeah, no problem. Uh, thank you for participating. Um, Commissioner Freeman, would you go ahead and, and um, let the uh, board um, know about the agreement and um, the... Sure. Stipulations. So KSDK came to us with a issue that they needed help with. So the way we're going to help them is we're going to do a parking uh, permit um, at 1037 Walnut. It's basically right in front of their building on Walnut for three of their employees uh, at $50 a month per space. Um, and um, Shirley reached out to Alderman Coder, and he is okay with this. And I think he just sent the signature page, Shirley, to us. So, yeah, he's okay with it. Right, and just to, to give a little bit more information, um, KSTK had some concerns about their um, employees that work overnight and safety concerns. So these three um, spots are directly in front of the, um, the building where they're at. And um, they also have a security officer in their building. So that way they can um, better assist their staff with um, safety when you know coming and, and leaving work. Yeah, I mean, I could just um, illustrate just a little bit more. Um, so we, although we have an attached garage to our building, which many of you are like probably scratching your head saying, why do you need more parking? Um, we do not manage that parking garage. It is managed by our next door neighbors at the Tin Tin building. And so we have only probably 12 or 15 spots that we utilize on a daily basis inside our building. We have 140 employees. We are also a 24 seven news operation. So we have individuals who are coming into our building at 10 p.m. at night to get prepared for the morning show. We also have employees that are here until 11 o'clock at night, um, wrapping up our 10 p.m. broadcast. So we have um, endured some security issues, some safety concerns. We had a vehicle, one of our employees had a vehicle stolen out of the couple's garage. We had a vehicle stolen right outside on Walnut in this exact uh, metered position that we're speaking of. Um, and we just, we have some really, you know, strong, uh, concerns about our employees as they're walking around in downtown St. Louis late and early, um, uh, late at night and early in the morning. So this would just give us a little bit of an extra support. Um, the meter that we're asking permission on, it is as, um, Shirley mentioned right outside of our entry point where our employees enter our building to go inside to our newsroom. 
and we're only asking for this special dispensation or special approval um, in the hours of 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. So it would be meter, it would show, you know, obviously like a, a parking uh, permitted only area, and we would uh, utilize this for only three of our employees. And we would ask for your uh, support as we will be soon to be the only, you know, downtown uh, television station located in downtown St. Louis. So we're really a very unique animal in many regards. And I can expand upon that as much or as little as, as you'd like. Thank you, Ms. Elsner. Um, I don't know if Tim, you wanted to speak or anything. No, I, I think uh, Alicia covered everything that I was going to mention. All right. Um, we'll take any questions from any of our commissioners. Uh, we'll start with Mr. Freeman. No questions. Okay. Ms. Williams. No questions for me, and thank you for what you do. Thank you. Ms. Kenner. Um, no questions at this time. And thank you also. Thank you. And no questions for me, as I am intimately familiar. All right, so I will uh, entertain a motion to um, approve the agreement as presented. Motion to approve KSDK agreement. Second, Williams. It's been moved by Mr. Freeman, seconded by Ms. Williams. Ms. Ali, can you take the roll? Commissioner Tyus. Proxy Kenner. Aye. Commissioner Williams. Aye. Commissioner Freeman. Aye. Chairman Lane. Aye. So that agreement is approved. Um, Thank you, Alicia and Tim. Uh, you all can, you're more than welcome to stay, but you don't have to. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it. Look Thank for you. the paperwork from Lenny. Thank you, Lenny, for everything that you've done to help us. Take care. All right, so the next item is the administra administrative hearing officer's contract. Um, Shirley, if you wanna present that. Sure, thank you, Chairman Lane. Um, as you all know, we issued an RFP, I believe it was last September, um, we were interested in um, finding or um, receiving responses from individual attorneys that were interested in serving as administrative hearing officers in our Parking Violations Bureau. We currently have three officers. Their contract had expired a few months back, and we've been doing monthly extensions. So the RFP was um, issued. Um, we created a selection committee, and that committee consisted of myself. Um, Ms. Latanya Kenner with the Comptroller's Office, and also Ms. Sheena Hamilton, the City Councilor. So we did meet um, this week a couple times uh, to interview the candidates and um, also to discuss their qualifications. And the Selection Committee um, has recommended that we extend contract offers to three individuals, um, first one being Karma Edwards, um, Karma is a, um, she's in private practice. She has been serving as a administrative hearing officer for um, I believe three, three years now. Second one is William Doubthit. Uh, Mr. Doubthit is also uh, in private practice. He too has been serving as a uh, hearing officer since I believe 2003. And our last selection is Ms. Uh, Liesel King-Williams. And Ms. Williams, uh, she is counsel for um, Fathers and Family Support Center, and she also has a private practice. Um, so we have those three individuals that we would like to offer um, contracted um, employment to. I have provided you all with the contract um, in the email yesterday. The contract includes language that it is a year contract with two additional options to renew for 12 months. So I would like to revise that. Uh, and I would like the um, initial term to be two years instead of one year. So a two-year contract with one additional 12-month term. And for that additional 12-month term, um, I am requesting that we allow for a 5% increase to the rate of pay. Uh, the initial rate of pay is $100 an hour. So I have, um, like I said, provided you all with the contracts. Um, I would like to seek approval so that we can move forward. Our current contracts end on February the 3rd. 
So I would like to get these um, effective as soon as possible. Um, still need to provide the contract to the city councilor's office for review and approve as to form. Any questions? And I would like to take a minute to thank Ms. Kenner and also uh, Ms. Hamilton for their time and, and commitment uh, for this process. You're welcome, Shirley. All right, we'll go around with questions. Mr. Freeman? No question. Okay, Ms. Williams? No questions. Ms. Kenner? No question. Just want to make a statement that um, I feel very confident that we have selected three excellent hearing officers for the parking division, the City of St. Louis. Excellent, excellent. All right, so I will entertain a motion to approve the contracts for the administrative hearing officers. Motion to approve, Williams. Second. It's been moved by Ms. Williams, seconded by Ms. Kenner. Ms. Ali, can you take the roll, please? Richard Dyes. Proxy Kenner. Aye. Commissioner Williams. Aye. Commissioner Freeman. Aye. Chairman Lane. Aye. All right, so that is approved. So I will also entertain a motion to adjourn this meeting before we move into our next one. Motion to adjourn. Second. We have the motion on the table by Mr. Freeman, second by Ms. Williams. I'll call for previous role. Any objection to previous role? All right, so we are adjourned. All right, don't go anywhere. Just the end. All right. We're still good, good, good. We have a room need. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so I will call the meeting of the City of St. Louis Parking Commission Finance Corporation Board of Directors meeting to order pursuant to revised Missouri State Statute 82487. Uh, Ms. Ali, can you please take the roll? Commissioner Tyus, Proxy Kenner. Aye. I mean, present. Commissioner Present. Commissioner Freeman. Present. Chairman Lane. Present. Um, first order of business is approval of the 9-22-22 meeting minutes. I will entertain a motion to approve those minutes. Motion to approve the minutes. Second, Williams. It's been moved by Mr. Freeman, second by Ms. Williams. Ms. Ali, can you take the roll, please? Mr. Tyus. Proxy Kenner. Aye. Commissioner Williams? Uh, aye. Commissioner Freeman? Aye. Chairman Lane? Aye. Um, the next, uh, old, old, some old business of the bylaw revisions and amendments. Um, I know you've been working hard on this, Shirley. You want to give us a rundown? Sure. So if you recall, late last year, um, we provided you with some suggested revisions to our um, corporation bylaws. The bylaws were from 2003, um, so just wanted to, to update, including allowing for virtual meetings and just kind of streamlining um, some of the um, positions, the office holders to what actually um, exists here within the parking division, and also um, just kind of updating the meeting schedule. Um, the Comptroller's Office Council has reviewed those revisions, and um, Council has additional revisions. Um, which were, were recently received. So um, I'm just asking for some additional time. I'd like to re review those revisions. And once again, I'm working with Ms. Kenner on this matter. And so hopefully the next time this board meets, we will have um, suggested revised bylaws. All right, thank you, Shirley. So we're not taking a vote on that at this time, correct? Correct. All right, thank you. Um, I'll entertain any questions, comments. We'll start with um, my order changed. All right, uh, Ms. Williams? No comments, no questions. All right, Mr. Freeman? No comments or questions. Ms. Kenner? No comment. 
All right. All right, so we'll move to our last uh, agenda items, uh, the couple's parking garage sewer easements. Yes, um, Treasurer, we um, have some attendees that need to be admitted. Um, the three attendees that you see are all here to um, testify and, and answer any questions that the board may have. Okay, sounds good. And if I might just uh, introduce um, the matter, I emailed um, all the directors on January the 9th, kind of explaining um, why this is necessary. Um, but the developers down at the property that, that we sold um, about a year and a half ago, the 1014 Spruce proper, property, which is adjacent to our couple's garage, they ran into an issue um, when they began um, digging for the sewer. They ran into some old steam pipes that they were not aware were there. And so they have proposed to run a new um, sewer line. Um, they've been in contact with MSD to run a new main line um, directly between the residential building that's there and um, our um, couple's garage. Right now, it's just kind of a, a walkway um, between our garage um, doors to uh, 10th Street. So they're proposing to run a sewer line there and then also um, a private you know, sewer lateral to their building. Um, with us today, we have Brian Early, who is our facilities director, who is in constant communication with both the developer and the contractors. We also have Mr. Tom Callahan. He is um, with Balboa, who's the developer. And we have Chris Leple and Adam Siebert with Brinkman Contractors. And uh, before we get to our guests, I do want to um, just based on what Shirley's already said, see if there are any questions um, from our commissioners. I know um, uh, Lenny's pretty familiar with this, but Ms. Williams or Ms. Kenner, I know we might have might have lost Ms. Kenner, and that's okay. But just want to see if there are any questions that you all have uh, based on what Shirley said, and then we'll hear from our guests. All right. Um, Adam, Chris, and Tom, I don't know who would like to start, uh, but the floor is yours. And if, Thank you, Tri if possible, I'm sorry, Tom, if possible, can you turn on your cameras? Yeah, let me, let me see. I was, you can hear me correctly, right? We can hear you, yep. But for whatever reason, the camera option is not coming up. Um, apologies. I don't, I'm not sure why the camera option isn't showing. A Adam or Chris, do you all have a camera option too? Because if not, it might be our, the way that we have you set up as attendees, but I'm not sure. It's, it's the way the meeting's set up. It is. Okay. It, okay. It allowed them to talk, <clears throat> not turn on their camera. Ah, uh, I see. I see. So what I would just, I know what I can do. I'll just promote you to advance. That's correct. All right, learn something new today. All right, so you should be able to uh, to come home. There should be that option popping up now. But yeah. we still don't see it. Oh, wait, no, I didn't do it right. Okay. Perfect, okay. Okay, great. Uh, well, well, nice to see you and uh, appreciate everyone's time uh, this morning. Um, I guess just to kind of recap what Shirley just said, you know, we, we've appreciated the partnership on our development and uh, we're excited to bring the project to life around this time next year. Uh, unfortunately, as, as most of you know, you know, when, when kind of uh, in the initial excavation and uh, we hit some... Uh, some unanticipated um, utility lines that we had to work around. And uh, Adam from Brinkman can give you uh, some details around our solution moving forward. Um, but we're, we've, we've tried to construct this in a way that is um, not uh, burdensome on the parking garage. Um, and we'll, you know, we're paying for the, the infrastructure to tap into the, uh, the main on 10th Street and are prepared to uh, you know, commence that work in the next few weeks. Um, so Adam, I don't know if there's anything else you wanna talk through in terms of the logistics, um, but we very much appreciate the, uh, 
the parking commission's uh, help in, in kind of solving this problem. Yeah, it, it, logistically wise um, installation of the of the sanitary line down through Spruce Street just did not become feasible with the amount of utilities that are present. Um, and unfortunately, there's only one direction we can go to tie in. Um, and with Spruce just not being a, a possible choice, the only the only viable option was was going between the residential building and the garage. Um, I believe we've worked through all the details with structural engineer with MSD uh, with without any issues there. Um, we'll coordinate uh, directly with with the parking garage and the residential building, um, just as we have up to this point on installation plans and methods. Um, so I, I don't know if you have any questions as far as what the actual scope is, but really it's just running a single line through, um, through the, between the two buildings and tying in, uh, at 10th street, right, right where it opens up. Any other comments or information on you all's partner for any of our other guests? Okay. Um, so Charlie, can you speak a little bit to the, the actual request? So I know we want to get this approved uh, today. So in terms of the easement, can you just make sure our, oh, the public and our um, members are informed about what what are the acts what this uh, easement entails um sure so so there's two easements they there will be a public easement with msd um and um this board as um treasurer you as officer um will will need to um sign so we are asking for this board for that approval and that easement will then get recorded um so that in in the future you know everybody's aware that that it exists there is also a private easement um, from us, uh, from the board to the property owner for whatever um, sewer lateral and sewer lines that they need to install that go, that will run from the main into the building. Um, so that easement has also been provided to you, two separate easements. And um, just to let you know, we have been in contact with um, both of our um, lend lenders and they both have approved the easements also. All right, any further questions um, from any of our board members? Treasurer Lane, if I could just quickly add, uh, we have consulted with our attorney, Roger Herman. He also represented this board um, when we sold the property. And this is at uh, full cost to um, Balboa and, and Mr. Callahan has uh, agreed to take care of any of our attorney's fees. Thank you for adding that, Shirley. All right, so I will entertain a motion. Oh, I know we have uh, Brian early here. Brian, did was there anything that you wanted to add or? No comment. No, you're good. All right. All right. So I will entertain a motion uh, to approve the um, sorry, lost my place. Um, to approve the easements. Motion to approve the easement. Second, Williams. <coughs> Moved by Mr. Freeman, second by Ms. Williams. Uh, Ms. Ali, can you take the roll? Commissioner Tyus. Proxy Kenner. Aye. Commissioner Williams. Aye. Mr. Freeman. Aye. Chairman Lane. Aye. All right. So that is approved. Uh, so we are all set. So thank you all for uh, being in attendance and uh, moving this along pretty quickly. 34 minutes minus five. Um, so 29 minutes, not bad at all. I will uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. 
Okay, so it's been uh, moved by Mr. Freeman, second by Ms. Kenner. I'll call for previous roll. Any objections? Okay, seeing none, we are adjourned. Have a great Thursday, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you.